Hey there, and welcome back to another episode of Northwest Craftsman. Today, we're gonna to be talking about how to turn your router table into a jointer. Now, there's a couple of different ways to do it, and I've got some questions about the Bosch router table in particular, because they give you these 16th, 16th inch black shims and nobody really says what you're supposed to do with them. So today we're gonna go through how to use them and then more generically how to turn your router table into a jointer. All right, let's get started. Okay, so for this particular router table, the Bosch RA1181, it has one set fence in the back so that you can move it forward and backward, but that doesn't by itself allow you to adjust or to use your uh, router table as a jointer. So some router tables will give you the ability to uh, move this leading edge, this leading side of the fence right here back so that you can take a differential cut between the two sides of this and joint your uh, boards. Now, when you're trying to visualize how exactly we're gonna use our router table as a jointer, a jointer normally sets flat down here. You've got a rotating blade on, on, on this axis, and then you come over the top of it, and this is the higher side, this is the lower side. Well, imagine that we were to rotate that off like this, and so this ends up being the higher side, and this guy ends up being the lower side. Now, that's where it comes in on this table. So on the 1181, we don't have the ability to move this, and so we have to use these shims in order to accomplish that differential between the two sides and to get a nice 90 degree edge to what's down here. So the purpose of this is to get a 90 degree edge between the face that's touching your uh, tabletop and the face that's touching your fence. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and set this guy up real fast so that you can watch the jointing in action and uh, then we'll talk about it afterwards. So I don't know if you guys could see it as it was going through, but it took me three passes to get uh, through all of the different curve and curvature that was on that face. And once I got through that third pass, I was taking off a nice even strip all the way across, which now leaves me with this just beautiful, uh, beautiful face to work with. Now, one of the limitations that I'm sure you guys have thought of at this point is you can't do boards that are thick. Like I wouldn't be able to uh, plane or sorry, joint this face right here, this, uh, where are we? Ah, this, this leading face. I wouldn't be able to joint that leading face because I just don't have a bit that's tall enough, nor is it really safe to try and joint with a freestanding uh, bit to joint a face that's that tall. And that's where a traditional jointer comes in because you've got a six inch wide or an eight inch plus wide uh, actual uh, rotation of blades rather than using a single bit to get that done. However, this does open up some options to you for jointing, and I would rather be using this as a jointer rather than trying to put it onto my planer and try to get that face uh, flat, because this will do both. It'll get it flat and it'll get it square to the bottom. And so I'm probably gonna end up using this rather than trying to send boards through my planer vertically because I have done that in the past and I really don't like it just because they're unstable. So I hope you guys learned a little bit. That's what these shims are for on the Bosch 1181. Yep, the 1181. And uh, I hope you guys learned a little bit. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them down in the comment section down below. And if you have any uh, suggestions, I would also like to hear in the comment section down below. And uh, this video was brought to you because a subscriber or a viewer asked the question. So if you have questions about how to do things, I'll figure it out and I'll put together a video on it so that you guys can actually see it in action. So thank you guys for joining. I really appreciate it. And I hope you have an excellent rest of your weekend. Okay, bye.